hello and welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another vlog today i just thought i'd show you our little morning routine that i do over weekend when either more aaron's got the baby and i've got a little bit more time to actually get stuff done so we've also got the video coming out for bambi today i think she's a little bit sore down her left side and now that i'm riding her in our new dressage saddle i'm starting to notice it more she can't quite pick up her left canter so i'm hoping he can resolve that because we are actually going to dressage tomorrow but he couldn't get here until today so it'll be her first actual ever competition we did put it into kelso's dressage a few weeks ago but we had to withdraw because i just knew she wasn't right to be that's when we started to give her some time off so I thought, yeah, I'll take you along for our morning. I can show you a little bit of what the physio does. I was here quite late last night, clipping Bambi. Um, so I'll show you her clip when she's had a breakfast. A pink mash is just soaking. I need to have a good old tidy because the yard looks like an absolute bomb has hit it because I just didn't have time. It was pitch black. It was freezing, it was cold, and it was about eight o'clock before I even left and I was hungry. So everything just got left where it was and i went home so i will take you all along you can see what we get up to you can see a little bit what the physio does and then hopefully tomorrow is a good day and she doesn't kill me so i just thought i would take you along with making their morning feeds i have just soaked their pink mash so they're all getting a pink mash um bambi gets a couple of supplements so she gets the max gut health and acidies so she's getting them with hers and then she is also still on her abless um treatment so she will get that as well um, so we'll pop them in. So we'll get a nice big scoop of that. And I put all of their supplements, if they're getting any, in first so that it's in the mash. And I can mix it all together in there and then I add everything else in. So then we'll just give a mash a little mix mix all that it doesn't look very appealing but she seems to like it so and then the get some healthy tummy chaff the two big ones bambi and buddy get a big scoop but this is just their morning so they're just gonna get half each they get a full scoop a day and Frankie just gets not even that, just a little sprinkle just to line his belly so he's got something as he is only 12 hands and he's starting to get a little bit chubby so we don't really give him an awful lot. Um Buddy gets the spillers everyday balancer, so we'll just get half a scoop of that. Him. I am in the middle of transition on Bambi, so she's still getting the Saracens conditioning not to she'll just get half a scoop of that. And then I'm trialing it on the Bailey's condition and competition mix, a slow release one. I just feel like I need a bit more mm, from her when I'm riding her, so We'll try on that. It might not work. We might end up sticking to the Saracen's conditioning nuts. Or if anyone's got any recommendations for something that isn't going to blow it top, but can, I don't know, give her a little bit more something something, then let me know because she can be quite a little explosive man. But there's just not enough coming from her. Um, and I've just got to be careful that I don't overfeed her to the point where she'll start getting a bit naggy with me and she because she is the kind of maid that will just go up with me 
and we're, we're moving past that now so yeah so she'll just get one of these on the top and then that's her breakfast all done so i've already taken her top rug off look how unimpressed she is she's like give me my breakfast i've already taken her top rug off she's getting a bit nangy push yours in push your bed back Buddy, Buddy's like, eh, don't forget me. Good morning. Let's see what state his bed's in. Here you go, mate. Yeah, as expected, he absolutely trashes his bed. That was a whole clean bed yesterday <laughs> do you want your breakfast yeah come on then open your door oh there we go good boy and he he's the cleanest of them all his bed's always lovely so <clears throat> now i'm gonna do my nets while they all eat their breakfast and then I will move on to mucking them all out and wait for the physio. Oh, there's our morning net I would normally do these the night before and then when I get down fill the net from the stables for the night but because I was in such a rush last night I didn't bother so red net for Frankie blue and black net for Bambi and Buddy and then I'll fill those nets in the corner for tonight so Frankie's bed first he is so easy back so Frankie is all done, he needs a groom, he's got his net, his bed's up, they all have rubber mat on and he's got some clean water and then hopefully once John's been he can go out, oh he's got a gunky eye, oh dear, once, once John's been he can go out with hopefully, ah, back, back mister, he can hopefully go out with Buddy, providing we can catch Buddy, if not, Little man will go out on his own. Bambi will get a hand raise because she needs to stay clean. On to Bambi's bed. She likes to bring all her bed to the front of the stable. And you're not very clean either. Good girl. So get hair done, some clean water, net in, and you'll see us when it's done. Yay. Bambi's all done. Hey girl. She's got a bed thrown up with a little bit in the corner and she'll have a fresh bale of shavings tonight. She's got her net. She's got clean water. Her and Buddy have got automatic drinkers but I prefer to know how much they're drinking and that they're definitely drinking so I use the buckets and they are turned off. Oh, sorry girl. Last but not least, Buddy. 
his bed is absolutely disgusting which actually kind of makes it a bit easier to muck i suppose so we will come back when he's all but done he's all done he's got his bed there's more left of it than i thought he's got his water and he has his net and he still doesn't want to know me do you mate um, when did they come? The kipper was here, so it must have been about two months ago. No. Are they? Stan girl, Stan girl. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, leave a bit of a saddle just in case. <laughs> and so we lunged there before. So John could see what she was doing and then it got on it so John could see what the canter's like. We've just decided to try and do some exercises with her to try and get the canter looking right because he can't find any issues with her. But we're still at square one because she isn't even taking them on. She's just being a nightmare. She's going up with me. She's booked. You can't find any pain anywhere. So just walking it off now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's the only one she's got. Is he normal though? No. Just tense, that's it. She'll just give it a go on it, just in case, but she's happy everywhere else. Unfortunately, so. Plan B. Plan B. Yeah. So, John has just gone. We started off with lunging her in the school so we could see how she was moving, if she was tight anywhere. And then, because I'm having some issues with the canter when it's ridden work, we decided to tack her up, jump on, see if to say it was the same as normal, which it was. Picked up the right canter, fine. She bounced in it like you will have seen in the last video. Bounced in it like a ball where there's no movement in it and then you can push her forward. But with the left canter, the minute she strikes off, she's coming back at me and she's threatening to go up and she it's like she can't move through that, through her shoulder. So we got off, we did all kinds, he, he felt everywhere, he did some little ex exercises with her. And then he said, okay, let's try and do some ridden exercises to try and push her through it, try and get her through it um it didn't help nothing helped so um, i've come to the conclusion that well me and john have come to the conclusion that it's possibly just her throwing a strap um because she isn't tight anyway her hamstrings are a little tight but it's usual because she's probably growing so he said he's not concerned about that so we're kind of like a little bit of a lost cause with it to be honest so me next plan of action is to maybe see if i can get someone else on it and see if they can get get it right in the canter because at the minute it just isn't good but for now i think i'm gonna take it back to basics and work on the walk on trot and get it sort of moving over some poles and then if the canter comes the canter comes but i don't know how tomorrow's gonna go now because we're doing the intro a and then we are doing a prelim seven and she's probably not going to get that canter so 
I'm gonna take it. It's all mileage. We'll see how we get on. Um, just a couple of set of setbacks, which is to be expected with babies. But I just honestly thought we were on the right path. So she's just munching on some hay. But she's taken a few steps back, which is allowed. She just she's a baby, which is very annoying because I thought we were really, really there. So that is my morning complete. I am um, finished. Go and take my hat and my boots off and head home. Good morning. It is dressage day. I have just got to the yard. They are all having their breakfast. And then I'm gonna quickly groom Bambi, give her a quick hot oil, and then platter up, load the car, Buddy and Frankie are going out, so that means I can just do all my jobs when I get back because I didn't I haven't got time to do any of them this morning. So fingers crossed she loads for one. Fingers crossed she behaves. And there's no expectations of it today. I just want her to go, load, be happy, be comfortable, be relaxed. I'm not expecting her to do this absolute star winning performance and you know take a win of a class i just wanted to go be relaxed be comfortable not nap and go from there i've got no expectations of her with it she's four she's literally been in where we're back six months like i'm not asking anything intense of her but it doesn't mean that she's going to behave you have to do it before and after Quick little hot oil. This is the best stuff ever. You will love it. And this one smells amazing too. And plaited, hot oiled. Looking beautiful. <laughs> she clearly doesn't agree. Hey, where we going? You gonna behave? You gonna behave? Probably not. She's in. First time. Good girl. Yeah, where are we going? Are you gonna be good? Ready to go? You gonna be good? So we spent the whole of the warm up napping, backing up, being petrified of life. To the right of their arena was a big massive stack of hay bales with a green tarpaulin that wasn't tied down so that was flapping about and she's petrified of that I, the grey horse to be fair to the right as you can see he wasn't even too happy about it and i was talking to this lady at the end and oh my god she was so nice her horse is only seven but he acts like a five-year-old she was saying she's took it really slow with him and at the end her and her daughter and a couple of other people actually came over to me and said that how much I inspired them because I didn't give up and we just kept going and I took her into the tests and to keep going because she's going to be such a nice mare which was nice to hear that people thought I was definitely doing right by her and obviously doing the right thing but she just kept this is how the whole warm-up went so we didn't actually get a warm-up she spent it back and up so in the end Aaron comes in the arena just to walk around with her there you go you can see him now he comes in just to try and keep her calm because obviously she trusts him, she trusts me. And they just got worse. Worse and worse and worse. To the point where I wasn't even asking her to trot. She was trotting off and then stopping dead. Um like literally planted her feet and wasn't moving. So I just decided after this like the the end of this clip i then decided to call it a day and come out we took her into the test without a warm-up both times um she does actually rear at one point and spin and i thought it was game over thought i was coming off her but i didn't we got through it good girl bubs I think 
she's going in the opposite direction to them. She stopped as soon as that got behind her. I know. She has to get used to it. I know. She has to get used to it. Good girl, bubs. Well, she wants to follow them, that's why she's laughing. She's trying to go with them. I'm not going to bother sitting here reading all the test scores out here in the comments. Um, I'll just quickly talk a little bit about how our first test went. So this was the intro test. The bell went, she was still napping, she still wasn't willing to go forward. She was tense. I was hoping to come in off the right rein because we were turning right at the end of the centre line. But she just wasn't happy about it. So I ended up having to just try and keep her feet moving and coming back on myself to go on the opposite rein and coming down the centre line that way because I knew from here if I didn't let her move forward some way or another she was going to go up with me and that was going to knock both of our confidence. She was very tense right throughout. She was... Uh, there was no consistent contact. I didn't want to ask too much of a contact because once she was moving forward I didn't want to you know, lose any of the rhythm. So I just thought, sort of let her do her thing. As long as she was moving forward and she was doing the movements that I was asking of her, I wasn't really too concerned about where her head was or what else she was doing. So I just let her do her thing with her head, to be honest. And I wasn't actually too, like, unimpressed with this. We got quite a few sevens, quite a few sixes. I was really, really impressed with her halt and I hope you guys will be as well when we get to that point. But the judge scored at a five and I was so disappointed with it. I thought it deserved a little bit more than that. But yeah, this is the intro test. So I'll let you watch the end of it and see what you guys think.
So we decided to take her into the prelim because once she actually got going in the main arena for the intro test, she actually went quite well. She was listening, she was responding. So I thought, you know what? It's an experience for her. Let's just take her in. She was a lot more forward in this test which i was pleased about but the judge commented that she was running and it needed to be a bit more controlled which i probably agree with um again we got a lot of sevens a lot of sixes um she picked up the canter on the right lead and it was nice but then we lost the canter because a wagon drove out of the the car park and she just couldn't contain the fact that they were leaving there was other stuff going on on the other side of the arena that she weren't involved with so we lost the canter and um, we didn't get the canter on the left rein as you will see but what i was a bit baffled about we got a higher score see i was impressed with that that canter transition but we got a lower score for this canter transition than the canter transition that we didn't do so, obviously, she lost the canter here in that corner. And we ended up continuing the movement in trot because I knew I just wouldn't get the canter back without it being messy. I just wanted to keep her forward. Um, so, she got a six for the actual transition and then a five for the working canter, which was understandable because she didn't complete the working canter. She dropped off into trot. But on the left rein... We didn't do any work in Canter, yet she got a six for it. So I'm not quite sure what this judge was looking at or what this judge was seeing. But anywho, I was really impressed with her walk. She was travelling. I was just overall a lot more happy with her with this. Um, you'll see in a minute the Canter transition on the left is coming. Apologies if you can hear Harper in the background. She's playing with her little musical toys. So we asked for the canter here and woohoo, she just takes a leap, couldn't get the bend back. So we asked again there and there was, although she's striking off, there's just no impulsion behind it to get it moving. So we came off the track, we lost it completely here. And then I asked one more time in the top corner and just decided to just continue in trot. So I'm not sure how we got a higher score for that working canter in comparison to the other working canter so yeah um and then we're coming towards the end of the test now so we do a change of rain on a long walk which could have had more stretch but given that she was quite tense it was never going to happen and then our halt wasn't great in this one i'll be honest so i can completely understand the judges decision on the score with that one i think it was a five or a four maybe um but she did give com lovely comments both times saying what a lovely horse she was she just needed to be more relaxed and obviously more willing because she was napping quite a bit but all in all a good experience once we got out of the warm-up so i was really really happy with her i don't know why when we come to take a halt she pulls her head out but the front was square so i'll take it you ready to go yeah, getting sassy. Hey. I'm pretty. Love, you still got attached. Did that last time as well. <laughs> Good job, it's a quick wee loose. Sorry, girl. Sorry, girl. <laughs> I always do that. Leave it attached to it and then try and get it off. off to the field keeping all four legs on the ground this time yeah come on then
it, Ivy? Be out without you? Time to try and catch Bordy Bear. Come on. Good boys. Good boys. Away from yeah. The food yeah, but that's fine. Clever boy. Okay. Like as long as we catch him. Again, significant. We are all done. She's just having some chill time in the field. <sighs> the warm up was an absolute nightmare, so we didn't actually get to do any form of warm up, as you will have seen. That was all she kept doing. She kept trying to rear. At one point, she did rear and like tried to like leap through the air at the same time and i was just like there's no point she's never really been ridden with any of the horses she doesn't understand what we're asking from her so i think i need to try and get her to some clinics where she's riding with other horses and she can work in slowly rather than getting thrown into that big environment and then asked to go into a test she did exactly what i wanted her to i had no expectations she went in she did the test she listened she was calm she was quiet and then I, I, in the beginning i was like i'm just gonna do the intro what's the point in doing the prelim she's not warming up she's not doing anything we're not gonna get anywhere it's dangerous and we came out the intro and i was like oh, okay that wasn't bad at all um i was disappointed with the five for the halt in the intro i thought it deserved so much more than that um, and we ended up scoring higher for the prelim than the intro we got a higher score for the counter that we didn't do on the left rein and then the canter she did do on the right rein because she dropped out of canter which baffles me don't know what this judge was judging um but the aim of the game was to get it out there let her see stuff no expectations of her get through the test which i didn't think she'd do and she did and all of us come home happy safe and well which we have done so i am really pleased with her some people wouldn't be pleased with it but she got through the test which is more than a could ask for a four-year-old who has only been working six in six months and has never been to a competition has never been anywhere with other horses so all in all i am really happy and um, we've got something on next weekend as well which again there's no pressure so thank you all for watching i appreciate you all watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to check out our instagram because you will see the updates for all these little events before the vlogs come out so thank you guys